There are over a billion people from all walks of life who are known to suffer with sleep disorder breathing. Of these, at least 70 to 80% remain undiagnosed and untreated. Sleep disorder breathing is one of several tens of sleep disorders, but one, it still remains one of the most prevalent. And while it is a medical condition to be diagnosed by physicians only, and I will stress that, improved knowledge of its pathophysiology, which is heterogeneous and quite complicated, has led to the recognition of the very important input that physicians require from the dental profession in order for us to help combat this debilitating and potentially fatal disorder. Now, CPAP remains the gold standard treatment for sleep disorder breathing, of which, of course, sleep apnea is the most um, common. But we as dentists can help reduce the burden of this disease in the screening, the assessment, and further treating of these patients, especially when it is a well-known fact that CPAP has a very high intolerance rate. It is important that every dentist, even, and even a hygienist and therapist, recognize this and make screening and assessing these patients who visit their practice a norm. And we, we have to recognize that, you know, who knows the oral environment and the airway better than us dentists? So join me on this four-part series that will introduce you to dental sleep medicine and what it means other than the fitting of all appliances for snoring. So join me then.